What is going on guys, BCD here, and today I just um, have the Nest Thermostat E with Google Home Mini Combo. I was able to get this product for a really good deal on eBay. It was a refurbished product, uh, but it total came to $80.70 at a 20% off coupon, so um, pretty much got it for a really good deal in my opinion, even though it was refurbished. Um, so I set up the device about a month ago and with time some of the benefits and flaws have become more apparent uh, So starting off just going over the setup. It was pretty straightforward I recommend taking a picture of the old thermostat and the wiring for it Just so you know exactly how to put it back together if need be But as well as a guide for the color slash input matching on the thermostat E uh, one of the most one of my biggest concerns uh, with the thermostat was making sure it would work within my system so I pulled the face off my old therm thermostat and did some research I recommend you do the same more than likely if you have the inputs for the system it should work no problem and I, I am happy to report that I was able to set up mine flawlessly with no delay just remember to turn off your AC and flip the circuit in your fuse box so the most important thing to know off that is that it really isn't that smart in my opinion let me explain that, but um, I was able to get the thermostat up and running within my home, and as I began to adjust the temperatures on my day-to-day -day schedule, it wasn't really catching the patterns, but rather have a constant runtime. So what I actually had to do in order to keep my electric bill down was go into settings, turn off auto schedule, and manually place um, in temperatures for when I would be home and away. The other function they offer within the app seems to work well, um, some things like, um, you know, the option of turning off the AC and just blowing the cool air with the fan to save energy. Um, the scheduled timing is a great function. And the home um, eco mode is really cool when you're away from home. Uh, to be honest, though, I actually don't think it's that stupid. But I just between me and my fiance's constant temperature changes, it really couldn't grasp the working schedule. So it just was always on or it, it was just very uh, strange um, situation so I ended up just completely just cutting it all off on the other hand though there was some things that um, would seem like a good idea but weren't like when using the heating and cooling function on the device it doesn't necessarily help as much as I would want trying to keep a temperature regulating between specific degrees never worked really well either it was too hot or too cold most of the time and never just right so that's when I opted for just a cooling function and set the temperature to a functional option alone, even though it usually ends up cooling past that point. Um, I don't feel like it's necessary for my heat to be kicking on when it's not needed. So I went with the um, cooling option just for that reason alone. But with all that said, I do think it's a learning curve when you're making sure the temperature within your house are essentially smart. I have like to think of it as another connected device because I really enjoy coming home to a cool home or waking up to a heated house so when I step out of the bed with just those two functions in mind it's worth it. The ability to always stay connected to your devices is really great so if I forget to turn it off I know eco mode is on and that's really something that was bothering me I always leave it on or not forget to turn it off or something like that. Um, but you know that's not really what sold me on the device it was really the um, device auto scheduling and learning over time and those features turned off now it may just be better to have a smart thermostat and not a nest thermostat overall I'm fine with my pro the product because of the price of entry but if I actually had to pay hundred and fifty dollars just for the device I don't think I would do it so that's pretty much my opinion if you get it on sale that's great if you're just looking for a smart device I would recommend just getting a smart thermostat over a nest but that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this commentary um, and enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, peace.